The race for the title of world's richest person is akin to a high-stakes game of musical chairs. One minute you're on top and the next, you're left standing. It's a ruthless game where only the wealthiest survive and it's a race that's constantly in flux. Just when Elon Musk thought he had secured his spot as the richest person in the world, along comes Bernard Arnault, the chairman of Louis Vuitton, to knock him off his throne and claim his bragging rights. It's like a game of whack-a-mole, but with billionaires. Before the dethroning, Elon Musk had been basking in his title as the richest person on the planet, with a net worth of 187.1 billion US dollars. But in just two days, he was left in the dust by Arno, who now boasts an estimated net worth of 186 billion US dollars. That's a difference of 1.1 billion US dollars. So how did Arno swoop in and take Musk's crown? Let's take a look at the details and find out what actually happened. All the glitz and glamour of being the world's richest person is a title that many entrepreneurs strive for, but it's a tough race to win. Amazon's Jeff Bezos had held the top spot since 2017, until Elon Musk decided to shake things up and give him a run for his money. Musk wasn't always a contender for the top spot. Just a few years ago, in March 2020, his net worth was a mere 24.6 billion US dollars a whopping $90 billion less than Bezos at the time. But thanks to the remarkable rally in Tesla stock, which soared a whopping 720% year on year, Musk was able to catch up and briefly became the world's richest person in January 2021. Since then, he's held the title of the world's wealthiest man, fending off Bezos who was coming close to stealing his crown on the back of Amazon's strong performance. But just as we were all getting used to the idea of Elon Musk ruling the roost as the world's richest person, a new contender has emerged. Bernard Arnault, the French billionaire who started out with a modest net worth, has been able to build an empire of luxury goods brands, including Louis Vuitton and Dom Perignon Champagne. With an estimated net worth of over $200 billion, Arnaud now sits on the throne as the world's richest person, dethroning Musk at the end of 2022. Arnaud's net worth growth can be attributed to the soaring stock prices of LVMH, which has seen an increase in profits in 2023. Since the start of the year, Arnaud's net worth has grown by more than $39 billion, making him the king of the financial hill and dethroning Musk at the end of 2022. And if we're being honest, it's all thanks to Musk's own doing. From past years, Elon Musk has had a wild ride with his behavior and the events that followed it. He made some hilarious mistakes that have affected Tesla's bottom line and alienated potential business allies. Let's take a closer look at one of his most absurd blunders. It all started when Musk impulsively announced a plan to buy out Twitter investors at an inflated price of $54.2 a share. That's double what the stock was trading for a day before. Talk about making it rain. This plan was quickly reversed with an erratic campaign to scuttle his own deal, and shareholders forced him to honor his initial offer. The result? He took on $13 billion in debt to purchase Twitter, and servicing that will require nearly a billion dollars in annual payments to the bank. Yikes! All in all, he closed the deal for $44 billion. But the value of Twitter today is only $20 billion, which is less than half of what he paid for it. The financial burden of his mistake, coupled with the fact he had to lay off many from Twitter's staff to cut costs, made matters worse. In the month since, Twitter has suffered an increasing number of technological malfunctions. And if you're thinking that's enough of a mistake, not even close, because Elon had more to come. His most recent blunder was his proposed plan to introduce a pay-for-verification plan that would cost subscribers $8 per month. This fell apart almost immediately, after the heads of Twitter's security, privacy, and compliance team quit due to the fear that the mass verification push could jeopardize user privacy and reveal that the company could face billions of dollars in fines from the government for breaching a consent decree issued by the Federal Trade Commission. It wasn't just the tech company that was left scratching their heads over Musk's recent actions. Even the experts were left baffled by his moves, as it could potentially cause more damage to the company's reputation in the long run. But wait, there's more. In a sudden U-turn, Elon Musk began binging on right-wing memes and promoting MAGA conspiracy theories on Twitter. 
He even created a series of investigations called Hashtag Twitter Files to prove these theories. This move alienated half of the users he had welcomed into healthy discussions. It was a major mistake and it cost him dearly. Musk made many other disastrous decisions on the platform, like suspending journalists, demanding algorithmic favoritism, and shutting down independent researchers' access to Twitter data. He even censored critics of India's conservative government while ignoring a poll where most users wanted him to step down. All of these blunders resulted in Twitter's estimated value plummeting by tens of billions of dollars. Elon bought Twitter hoping it would help his personal wealth and Tesla's stock, but it only caused more trouble. His mistakes damaged his credibility and took a toll on Twitter's reputation. Now combining the worth of Tesla, SpaceX and Twitter, Elon Musk's net worth has fallen to $137 billion. That's a major drop from its peak of $340 billion in January and makes Musk the first person ever to lose $200 billion in wealth. But wait, there's more bad news for Elon. Twitter is not the main reason for his declining fortune. Tesla is. It is Tesla which is the biggest cause of worry for him, as a major portion of his wealth comes from the stock in Tesla. It seems like this year is a never-ending stretch of bad luck for Elon Musk. First Twitter, and then Tesla. What started as a growth story for electric vehicles quickly turned into a decline of fortune for Elon Musk. It all began when demand for Tesla's cars weakened after some major competition in the form of established automakers surged last year. This caused the stock to plunge by 65%, leading to Musk's wealth being tied up in the company. To make matters worse, Tesla's fourth quarter deliveries also missed Wall Street's estimates, and the company had to resort to a rare sale in an attempt to clear out inventory before the end of 2022. This further caused investors' confidence to drop and Tesla's stock to nosedive 37% in December. What made it even more shocking is that Elon Musk had famously declared earlier this year that he would never sell his shares in Tesla. Yet, here he was offering two rebates for buyers taking delivery of a vehicle before the end of the year. This made some financial analysts wonder if it was another one of Musk's short-sighted decisions, or a sign that Tesla has started to become too reliant on the whims of its founder and CEO. It was a mystery to figure out what really happened and why Elon Musk's wealth had taken such a huge hit, but it seemed that the rapid decrease in Tesla shares over time had caused the sudden crash. The company had its worst year ever on Wall Street last year, losing $700 billion because of investor apprehensions regarding the effects of COVID-19 in China and Mr. Musk's contentious takeover of Twitter. It was clear that Elon Musk had bitten off more than he could chew, and the struggle of the former and current wealthiest men in the world were becoming more apparent. Tesla seemed to be the main cause of Musk's declining fortune, given that a significant portion of his wealth comes from the company's stock. But enough about Elon's woes. Moving on, have you ever wondered what makes the other billionaires on the list so rich? Of course you have. Who hasn't? So let's take a closer look at the rest of the top five. First up is Jeff Bezos, the man who needs no introduction. With a net worth of $128.5 billion, he's the third wealthiest person on the planet. He founded Amazon, the largest online retailer in the world, and owns the Washington Post and Blue Origin, a space exploration company. Bezos has had his fair share of ups and downs, from the pandemic-induced boom in online shopping to a high-profile divorce settlement. But he's still one of the wealthiest people on Earth. And let's face it, he could probably buy his own planet if he wanted to. Next up is Larry Ellison, the co-founder of Oracle Corporation, with a net worth of $118.3 billion. He's a man of many titles, including executive chairman, chief technology officer, and former CEO. Under his leadership, Oracle has become a leading provider of database management systems and enterprise software solutions. And let's not forget his investments in real estate and other businesses that have contributed to his impressive wealth. He's got his fingers in more pies than a pastry chef. Last but certainly not least, we have Warren Buffett. With a net worth of $115.3 billion, he's the fifth wealthiest person on the planet. Buffett is the chairman and CEO of Berkshire Hathaway, 
a holding company that owns brands like Duracell and Dairy Queen. He's known for his value investing approach and philanthropy, having pledged to give away more than 99% of his wealth during his lifetime or after death. Despite his massive wealth, Buffett is famous for his frugal lifestyle and down-to-earth personality. These five billionaires may represent a tiny fraction of the world's wealthiest individuals, but they wield immense power and influence over the global economy and society. It's fascinating to see how each of them has achieved their wealth in different ways, from founding and growing massive corporations to investing in diverse industries. And while Elon may be struggling at the moment, we can be sure that he'll bounce back in true Tony Stark fashion. After all, he's got a rocket up his sleeve.